Hey, I'm Kylie, online color consultant. Today we're talking about Sherwin-Williams Accessible Beige. Accessible Beige is a fantastic beige paint color and it's one of my favorites. Now a lot of beiges can go yellow or orange and they can look a little murky in some lights. This is not one of those beige colors. This actually has a grayish undertone. So when a color has a grayish undertone, it means there's a bit of gray in it or it's a gray with a bit of beige in it. So this is our beige with a bit of gray in it. Um, it has some subtle taupe undertones as well, nothing that comes out at all, nothing that overrides. It just really stops this color from picking up any yellow or orange, which is fantastic. Now, a lot of times this color is compared to agreeable gray, and I like to use it for comparison. So if we look at agreeable gray, here we can see a beige with a grayish undertone and a gray with a grayish undertone. This is gray with beige, beige with gray. So they're really both trying to do the same thing. One's just a little bit warmer neutral, one's just a little bit more, I wouldn't say cooler neutral, but neutral. I have a video on this as well if you want to check it out. So back to our beige. It has an LRV that is above 50, but only by a wee smidgen. So it's not going to make a dark room feel any brighter. And in fact, if it is quite a dark room and you don't have really good lighting, it's going to feel a little bit dull. Um, it can work well for hallways if they're reasonably lit. If not, you could get it lightened by 25%. Now this just tweaks the color. It's not like a night and day difference. So you just go to the paint store and you say, hey, I'd like this color. Can you please lighten it by 25%? And they'll just do that for you. So you don't need to worry about it. Now the key is you have to bring sample pots home. Please bring sample pots home. Um, whether you get a color lightened or keep it as is. Now you wanna make sure you don't put it on your precious wall. Please don't put it on your wall. You know, people always put it on with brushes and you can see sometimes you can see those brush marks through your paint job. Um, and the other big problem is that you'll be really influenced by your existing paint color and you don't wanna do that. You wanna pick a color on its own merits. So by doing this, I've left a white perimeter around. So now it's got something totally neutral, something totally innocuous to base it on. I also run it right up to the edge here. So if I wanna put it next to my cabinets, my furniture, my trim, anything I want, I can put it right up there without being influenced by that white. Now it's a great color for resale. I find it has a little bit more mass appeal than gray because once you hit the 50 plus crowd, I'd say more often than not the 50 plus crowd likes slightly warmer colors versus slightly cooler colors. Now it does seem that the, I'm gonna say 20 to 40 year olds do like those grays, but this certainly won't put them off because it does have that neutral gray base to it. But the gray never, I would, I would say it never takes over. It always holds a nice beige base. Um, if you want to see some photos of this color in action, check out my website, www.kyliaminteriors.ca. Thanks for visiting and please consider subscribing.